Okay YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fit this ram. Now, nice and easy, this one. Anyone can do it, any fool can do this. This is PC, it's uh, not the greatest. It's a bit of a, a bit of a old PC now, but it was, uh, it's a Phenom X6. Could really do with an Intel machine these days. Never mind, we're going to make it a little bit better by adding some more RAM. I'm going to add 16 gigabytes of RAM in four sticks. You're going to need Windows 7 64 bit really if you want to do this now because if you've only got 32 bit Windows, then you can't run um, more than 4 gigabyte RAM. These days, I think really anyone who hasn't gone 64 bit should do on the next upgrade, or you should think about upgrading because to be trapped into that 32 bit system with all that, with that low RAM and everything, is just it's at its day. Basically, I think that's the end of the road for that sort of system. So get your get your side of your case off. Have a look in here, see if you can see that. Now, don't worry too much if you don't know what you're doing. Ignore all this. But if we have a look in here, right there, this big fa this fanny is a CPU fan. I'm going to change that too and I might show you how to do that. But, you can see the RAM right there. See these strips? There's your RAM. And there's four, there's four RAM slots in this PC, and I've got four RAM sticks to go in it. So what I'm going to do is, hang on a sec, I'm going to unclip these and take them out because these are blown now, and they've got little clips on them like this at the bottom here. And out they come. You might not want to let yours fall on the floor. But it doesn't matter so much for mine because these have blown up anyway. Because when the power supply went, these fried. It's quite easy to fry the RAM sometimes. Uh, here's another one. But one good thing about RAM is it's the easiest thing to change. If you don't know what you're doing, it's just like um, oh, I'll tell you what it's like. Ram, and here's my uh, beautiful new Corsair. Uh, I'll tell you what Ram is like. Remember the old Mega Drives, Nintendo 64s, the game cartridges. If, if you can put a game in a Mega Drive, you can fit some Ram. Make sure like you've got the shorter amount of pins here and the longer um, when you look on the when you look on the slot there you'll see that there's a, a kind of a, a part where the shorter end's going to go in so you just put it in now I've got two packs of two so I'm going to make sure to match the two sticks with the two colours, can you see how there's two colours? There's like four RAM slots and there's two that match and another two that match. That's because that's dual channel RAM so you want the same ones, you want to pair them up. If you've only got two sticks you use one pair, you wouldn't put one in the, red, in the black and one in the blue, you put them both in the black. Um, but when you've got four, you want to pair them up out the same packet really because then they're the same batch. So all I'm doing is just like a Mega Drive cartridge, put them in and clip. And that's it. That RAM stick is in now, you see. They're going to lock up 
like that. I'm going to lock in. And then you do the same for the other three. Because I've got another one here. And I've got a nice second packet of another two there. So it's going to look nice when I get when I get them all in there. So anyone's capable of fitting RAM. So go ahead and try out YouTube. Make sure you don't pay PC World like, what is it, £50 they're charging to do this now. Do it yourself and you'll be fine. See you later.